Buenas, buenas. Welcome to In The Da. I'm Kevin Otra, and today we're going to be talking about making your hard style kicks a little bit better inside FL Studio. So a common issue that happens with FL Studio users is that whenever they have to trim a certain sample or anything, they encounter a problem because FL Studio's zero crossing algorithm is not the best when it comes to editing audio in the playlist. So if I were to grab this kick drum and paste it around, play this back, you see, we get some clipping up there. Let me mute this output. You see that? There's clipping going on. If I bring this down, just to prove it to you guys, the faders are minus six, but then we're clipping, you know? So what happens is that these cuts are not, you know, introducing fades into the audio. So we have to do that a bit manually. Now, I'm not the only guy who has this issue before. Uh, actually, the reason why I'm, I want to make this video is because I saw another guy on Facebook that had this exact, exact issue, and I know a lot of people ask me this. So here's what has happened to this guy as well. So our buddy Ruben is not alone in this. So what we're going to do, it's quite simple. We're going to open up Edison or open up that piece of audio inside Edison, I should say. And then what we're going to do is come over to the attack of that kick drum and remove everything from the beginning except the very attack, you know. So we're going to come in here, delete all this. That's unnecessary. We have to zoom out again to make sure that we have everything that we don't need and delete that. I'm going to go back in there and create a little crossfade. I can either declick this by left clicking on my fade or I can make a broader fade out like so. Okay. And just to, just to say this again, this is fade in and this is fade out. So, just left clicking on them will make a standard fader and fade out. However, if you left click on them, you can de-click. And if you look at the info box inside of Full Studio, if you hover over this them, right here it lets you know that one of them is to fade in, the other one's to de-click. Okay. Now the next step is finding out where I need to uh, fade out. Now the problem is that even if you use the step uh, you know, snap to regions, it doesn't actually snap to the proper region. Let me show you what I mean. So if I were to say, hey, my first four bars are, or beats should be, not beats, uh, quarter notes leading to my beat should be somewhere around here, right? So if I select the snap to regions or snap to grid, and then I paste this into the playlist, I'm still gonna get that issue because it's not exactly on point. It's kind of weird. So what you really want to do is do the math. And here I have divided the number 60 by 160, which is my tempo of this track. And what I get out of there is 375 BPM. Really simple. Let's go over this again. I have 60 for the amount of seconds in a minute then I divide that by the amount of BPM in my track, and they have uh, 375 milliseconds, which are equivalent to a beat in my song. So now I can come into Edison and find 375. Of course, I need to remove all the snapping. Find 375 milliseconds, and I see the number up here. So I'm just going to select everything else and delete it. And this is all just, just a bunch of reverb that I had as part of the kick drum. And I'm going to zoom in all the way at the end. And I'm going to grab a little bit longer of a situation than in the beginning. Because the beginning of the sound, there's a lot of white noise on top. There's a lot of uh, transient detail. 
So there's not a lot of low frequencies. So it's easier to come back to the zero crossing because the waveforms are much smaller. Here, that is not the case. So I need to grab a broader portion of audio and fade that out instead of de-clicking it in or de-clicking it out. Now I'm going to bring this back into FL Studio, Playlist, and voila. Let's copy and paste this over and over. And let's see our mixer, and let's see we're going to have a happy mixer now. And let's make sure the audio is coming out. And I have no clipping. All right. So that's how you solve this problem. Now, I've seen a lot of people also were commenting, hey, you should put that as a, on a, as a sampler, right? Uh, you know, grab your piece of uh, the original 909 kick or the original distorted kick. How the hell does this look like with original 909? And load it to a sampler. Well, you can kind of do that, but it's not the best. Let me explain. So if I were to grab the original kick drum, load it into a sampler, what these guys are saying, and I'm going to make a new arrangement just so I can have a clear sense of mind. These, what these guys are saying is that if you're, you put in a, Put this in MIDI that you can use a sampler to um, trigger the kick drum. Now, it is possible. Uh, you can use the group, you know, to make sure everything's cut by itself. See, now that looks a lot nicer. The only problem is because not all kicks have the right, uh, you know, fade in and fade out when you're producing them. You're going to have to use the playback. I mean, uh, the sample starts, you know, to to go right to the beginning of the sample, or you're gonna have to use a trim, whichever one is best in your situation. And then you're gonna have to go to the ADSR, not the pitch, the ADSR envelope, set the hold to be exactly the, the amount of time that your uh, audio should play, which is 375 milliseconds. However, there's not a clear way to, you know, right click and type in value and tell it to be exactly 375 milliseconds. If, if there is a way to do that, please let me know. But as far as I know, there is not a way to do exactly that. So you have to do this by ear. Okay, let me actually pull up a wave candy to show you guys what is going on down there. because we're losing some of our, the release of our kick drum. So let's open up a wave candy. See, we're losing some of that final part of the kick drum. Now we have to extend the hold. But when you let that hold go, we start to get that, you know, clicking back in. So you have to use the right amount of hold and just the right amount of decay. And that's pretty darn good right there. That's what that's something that I would say is almost negligible because it's so tiny. However, this is hard stuff. We're not selling for anything less than perfect. So what I would suggest is to go with the uh, with the tip of Edison. So just use Edison to cut out your your attack to be right the right spot and remove whatever parts of the tail that you no longer lead for that specific uh, beat. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That you learned something new. Please give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more tutorials like this. Uh, and also, if you guys have any uh, requests, let us, let them uh, let us know down below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Once again, I'm going to show with the in the da. Peace out.